This is a solar hot water heater that I built. It's from drip irrigation tubing, quarter inch. And also the panel, it comes from a greenhouse. It's double layered and that's how I was able to run the tubing back through it. The idea behind this was to uh, run it through a small solar panel, but the solar panel doesn't seem to be able to push the pump, so I'm running it off of a uh, battery charger. And it's not very efficient. I mean, you could probably step your game up by taking copper tubing and running it through. That might help. And then painting the back of it black and maybe some other modifications that might increase the uh, efficiency of it, but more or less it's just kind of a science experiment at best probably. But it might give someone else an idea to take it to the next next level. They make these into a, uh, I think they make them in half inch, maybe even three quarter inch. I could be wrong, but this is what I got at Home Depot and it's only quarter inch in, in thickness so the tubing was kind of the only option I had. The idea behind this was I was going to use it possibly as a low profile solar hot water heater on the teardrop camper. I was going to put it up top right here and I thought maybe I could bend it it would flex enough but it, it didn't turn out like that it was just kind of a bad idea all the way around maybe a good learning experience maybe get someone else like I said a, an idea maybe and I don't have a thermometer to see what the increase in temperature would be I got like about two gallons of water down there.